Hey everyone, it's Upnorth Collectors here. We are doing some Dunruss Basketball 2021, fresh off the retail shelves. We got these at our local Meyer. They limit to two per person, but you could get back in line. So we kind of circled around again. They allowed you to get back in line as long as you know you were obviously the next person in line. You get to go back to the line and get more. So we were able to get a fair amount of this this time which is pretty cool. We opened up a few of these value or the fat packs uh, off camera and didn't have anything big, but you can see in the back, this is what you can get out of those. Um, so the uh, uh, yellow uh, laser parallels, and then you can also get the hollow green, or, or excuse me, these are the hollow green and, laser, and yellow laser, sorry. Um, misspoke there. Uh, so the green and yellow lasers. So these are awesome. Love to hit one of the top rookies in these. We did pull three out of a couple packs. Um, it wasn't one per pack. It's like every other pack roughly. Uh, and uh, no rookies, but we did get a few of those, which are cool. And we did pull a Luca base and then a Luca insert. So nothing too big off camera. Um, and none of the top rookies other than two James Wiseman rated rookies. So let's get into this. We have two of the value packs, and they have 30 cards in each pack. And then two, or excuse me, the chance for the hollow green and yellow laser parallels. You can see here what you can get um, there. Do they show you anything on this part? I don't know. This packaging looks a little bit wonky. Um that looked like only part of it here you go this is what you're looking for right here um it's underneath the label so you can see what you can get chance to get um autographs i believe and of course you're looking for um, anthony edwards as well as lamello anthony edwards last night in the timberwolves game um scored 42 points i believe and only the third rookie to do that according to the stats i saw so the cards look really nice if you haven't seen uh, dunross yet looks you know obviously a lot like the football did uh, but in the basketball uh with the basketball players obviously um and definitely to find retail is always a good thing um the hobby prices of these boxes was, you know, are absolutely crazy. Uh, so you can pull quite a few rookies out of one of these uh, value packs. I think there's like four or five, maybe six rated rookies per value pack. Unfortunately, the rookie class this year is not that great. So, you know, downside is, you know, you're only really looking for two of the top rookies, which are, you know, LaMelo and Edwards, but you know, you have people like James Wiseman, uh, there's Hal Burton, there's um, uh, other, you know, many others as well that, you know, could be potential stars, but right now, you know, they have to yet prove themselves. So let's see, we're getting to the inserts here. So we got our first insert, uh, which is uh, a Coro. So there's a rookie insert. And then behind that, we have Power in the Paint, uh, Andre Drummond which is cool. And here's one of these hollow uh, green and yellow lasers. So there's a Jarrett Allen. Of course, still on the Knicks. Uh, they haven't updated that yet. And now we're getting to our rated rookies. Uh, we have a Naja Bay. And behind that, we have Naismith. And Killian Hayes. And last but not least, Patrick Williams. So nothing too crazy out of that, but we did get one of the um, uh, hollows, or the uh, green and yellow hollows. So that's pretty cool. Let's open up the blaster box next, and then we'll end it with our other value pack. So you get 30 cards in those value packs. You get 88 cards in the blaster boxes. I believe the blasters at our Meyer store were $25. The hangers, I think, were $13. And the fat packs or value packs, I think, were around six, six bucks, six or seven bucks, something like that. So um, the value packs are really a good value. I mean, obviously, the name value pack, but doesn't always add up to value. Uh, in sports cards. Anyways, we have in this uh, blaster box, you get 88 cards and you get one autograph or mem. I'm guessing most of the time you're going to get a memorabilia card. 
Uh, here's what you can get out of here. So take a look at the possibilities. Um, and then another look at the box. You got Steph Curry there on the box. Steph is having a great year again. You know, glad to see him back um, doing well after uh, his uh, injury last year. Um, too bad that Clay uh, Thompson isn't uh, playing because uh, the Warriors are looking really good even without Clay. Uh, but if once they had Clay, boy, they would be um, looking quite good. Uh, so there you have a Giannis. These are nice uh, inserts. Uh, the franchise features live and in person. And then here is our rated rookie. I'm guessing you're going to get about one per pack. Now, I don't remember seeing uh, a Duco, if that's how you say his name, in um, hoops. But maybe he was. And there's a, a Denny. So see if we get some different rookies out of this blaster box. We were able to pick up a couple of these while we were able to stand in line. I saw a Charlotte Hornet on the back. Let's hope that's a LaMelo. LaMelo is definitely fun to watch. Uh, we've been watching a little bit of Timberwolves games, and I like the look of that card. That's pretty cool looking. I don't know what exactly that is, um, but it is a darker looking card of sorts. James Harden, Kemba Walker, and ooh, that is cool. So a Fantasy Stars, LeBron James. I don't think that's numbered or anything, but that is a pretty sweet looking card. And then we have a Gonku, Raider Rookie, and no, fake out, not LaMelo. But I think in hoops, there were four um, rated or four rookies that were uh, from the Charlotte Hornets. So chance of probably pulling a LaMelo is a little bit more difficult. Jerk Culver. Um, we have another insert coming up here, um, Sabonis, and behind that we have a CJ LB and a Nico. So that, I heard he's doing really well in um, the G League, and Jordan Poole um, just got called up from the G League, and I think he had a pretty good game the other night for the Warriors. So it's fun to see some of these guys that are like second, third tier guys. You know, having some good games. I'm trying to show the back card because the back two are rated rookies. So you do get a lot of rated rookies in here. And, and here we have an orange. So let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Blaster exclusives. Look for the blaster exclusive orange and laser uh, or orange and purple laser. So let's see if we can get or who we get out of that. That is pretty sweet. So I, I'm guessing those are fairly hard to pull but i haven't seen any breaks uh, of retail yet so this is the first look i'm getting of them uh and maybe you've seen other breaks uh, i know that uh other people have found them at other stores it's a rated rookie uh quickly so hey this guy is uh pretty good emmanuel quickly um with obi toppin he's had some good games and this is a beautiful looking card with his uh, you know, with the New York Knicks colors. So that is a sweet card. I like that one. That is a nice pull. Take that one. Um, Xavier Tillman and Desmond Bain. So I don't know that Quickly's done anything lately, but for a while there, he was, he was getting a little bit of buzz in the hobby because of his gameplay with uh, the Knicks. So kind of a, a surprise. And we have another orange. So maybe the orange aren't all that hard to pull. Um, so rewind. Listen to what I said a minute ago about the orange and just erase uh, obviously we got two in two packs so let's see who this is um a derosion uh so that's not bad good player for the spurs obviously um and then there's another quickly right there so there's the base so nice to see some fresh names in dunross which is cool didn't really watch many breaks at all of the hobby of dunross uh, just so priced out of a uh, hobby and basketball it's like almost not even fun to watch the breaks sometimes just because they're way too pricey so now we're getting another orange so this is pretty sweet i didn't know you got so many orange in the blaster boxes let's see who this is oh, lori marketing and then behind that uh bay and behind that is naismith so let me go back and look at the box again it doesn't say that you get a certain amount Whereas in the hanger boxes do say you get three of the 
um, green flood parallel. So blasters, it doesn't tell you any certain amount that you get, but obviously you do get more than one. I think this is our relic card. Yep, so this is our relic card here. Um, Anthony, or excuse me, Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant, and Josh Jackson, and then we have, oh sweet, uh, Jokic, Alec. Nothing special. Now let's see, what does it say on the back? Uh, it's game worn or used material. Oh, that's cool. So at least it's game worn and used material. So before the ones in hoops were very um, basic, didn't say it. they were used for anything. All right, let's see who, uh, this is a Killian Hayes again and a Patrick Williams. So yeah, in hoops, the relic said it wasn't from wear it worn by any player for any game or from anything basically <laughs> it was just some kind of random jersey or something that they they cut up which you know i guess you can't be too hard on panini uh covid uh definitely cramped their style as well as just about everything in the whole entire universe last year so um it's easy to be nitpicky there's clay now it's interesting that clay is obviously not in a action shot because he was injured uh, last year and then of course again this year so too bad that clay is back-to-back -back injuries uh, there's a cassius winston msu grad and then a nick richards um michigan state did get knocked out of the tournament by ucla well i guess they never were in the tournament they were trying to make it went into i think double overtime luke was saying and lost by two points so well michigan state spartans got a uh, get some more uh, recruits into their program and get back to the powerhouse that they were uh, back a few years ago. All right, Pascal Siakam, and then we have a Trey Jones and a Daniel Topu. I guess that's how you say his name. Maybe not, but I'll try. All right. Uh, nice to see, though, a lot of different players in here. That's pretty cool. I like that they included more rookies. You know, obviously, some of these guys are in the G League. And we have... Okay, so here's one of the purples. So they do have orange and they do have purple. I'm guessing the purples are more difficult to pull. Let's see. This is numbered. Oh, that's sweet. Lonzo Ball, numbered to 99. 48 of 99. So that's pretty cool. And fake out. Jaden McDaniels, not the Timberwolf we're looking for, but Caleb Martin. So, uh, too bad. Caleb Martin, wasn't he a rookie last year? No? I'm not sure. Um, I feel like he was. Or was it? I know his brother was. Uh, aren't they twins? I thought they came out, obviously, at the same time, but maybe not. All right. So, back to our pack. And the blaster boxes are actually pretty fun. Kind of wishing I maybe would have got a couple more blasters. They didn't have that many, though. All right, so there's a Cole Anthony. But blasters are more fun than what I thought they would be. Um, blasters for hoops were pretty bad. Um, but the blasters for Dunruss are quite good. So interesting. So if you're out there, I'd highly recommend a blaster. Although the value packs were really good, or are pretty good for, I should say, they're good, really good for the money. Um, let's see if I can get this thing open without killing myself or the box. These things are like super sealed. The cellophane they use on the hanger boxes are crazy. All right, so let's see if you can get the hanger box. There you go there. You can see you can look for these uh, autos and then you get 50 cards with three hanger exclusive green flood perils. Now, in our experience with Panini products this year, um, the hanger boxes have been by far the best. Let's see if it is true for Dunruss. You got um, a lot of inserts. Let's see the guys. Oh, there's a wise man on the back. Nice. You got a lot of inserts in them as well as um, some parallels and it seemed like you got rook good rookies in the hangers. It seems like in all of theirs, the hangers are really good. So we'll see if that pans out in this particular selection. Ooh, I got a nice card. That's one of the greens back there. Those are cool looking. I like the look of those. They kind of remind me of 
one of the inserts of last year to see in that color. Um, all right, let's see here. The camera looks like it's trying to focus on something else. All right. So let us know in the comments below, did you find any retail this week? What did you find? After the video, we'll play some clips uh, of some retail shelves. There's a Zion. I think that's the first Zion we pulled, um, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I skipped over him earlier, which could be. Um, but let us know if you found any. We'll play some clips of shelves, and I'll give you a couple of tips on the um, video about kind of what to look for uh, when your shelves are empty. Um, the names on the camera are just a little bit hard to read, but in person, not bad. There's a Trey Young, uh, Carmelo, Carmelo Anthony, and a Chris Dunn. Let's see who this first green is. Okay, so these are the greens. That one behind there was green, but not the same one. So Devontae Graham, and we got a Zubak, and... Sweet. A Zion Williams. Complete players. That's awesome. So that is a cool card. And then behind here, so this is what I thought. I just saw the green. Um, this is just one of the inserts franchise features. And then a Naismith rookie insert. And then another franchise features. And in the back, it looks like we're going to get... Yeah, so here we go to our rookies. A Nick Richards. Trey Jones. Uh, fake out again, McDaniels, Caleb Martin, Precious. Boy, you get a lot of rookies in here. Um, uh, Cole Anthony, Trace Halburn, not bad. And then James Wiseman. So let's see, how many greater rookies do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten rated rookies. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so. I don't know. The hanger boxes are quite good if you get 10 rated rookies. All right, let's get this, open up this last pack, see what we pull out of this one here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. On the back, we have a Terry. All right. And it does look like we have another one of the neon um, green and yellow lasers. So let's see. Are they called neon, by the way? Let's look at this again. No, hollow. Sorry, hollow. Misspoke. All right. Go through the base here. It's kind of weird that you don't see too many of the really big names, um, which I guess is a good thing. They didn't water it down, which might actually make some of the base cards of, like, Luca, Zion, uh, and the like, uh, obviously LeBron James, uh, you know, have a little bit of value because they're kind of hard to pull. All right, so here's a Tyler Hero and nice. Another Luca, the Fantasy Stars. I like the look of that card. That's cool. Let's see who this is. It's a Spur. And a Lonnie Walker. This guy it has some pretty sweet highlights. Lonnie Walker, another James Wiseman. And... Uh, maze so that's pretty cool um he was in uh he had he had autographs in the collegiate uh, prism version uh sabian lee tyler bay and terrell Ter terry so there you have it guys here is our stack of all the unique cards the rookie cards um inserts parallels right here uh from this break so that's pretty impressive. Um, you can see all the different rookies and inserts. And then our base is going to look like this. We have one stack right here. And the rest of the base right here. A total stack that looks like that. So pretty sweet. Pretty sweet break. A lot of fun. So glad we found it. We didn't even think we were going to find any Dunruss this year out there in the retail world. But um, Meyer, our local Meyer stores, limits two per person. You could go back in line. So we were able to do it uh, a couple times. And, and the second time around, we pretty much got the value packs. But hey, we're not complaining. Um, we were able to get some uh, cards 
you know, many of you can't find retail cards anywhere, which is super unfortunate. Um, you know, hopefully your stores will have some kind of limits and, you know, they'll, they'll do that in the future. Um, this time our Meyer was well stocked and everybody was cordial. Everybody was decent in line. Nobody was, um, you know, fighting or, uh, making a scene, everybody uh, seemed to you know wait patiently and get their product and, and go. So that was that was good. Uh, some people were there for baseball, some people were there for football. There was um, a little bit of optic. I think two mega boxes of optic football. That was it. And uh, there was a little bit of baseball series one, and then a fair amount of Pokemon, and then uh, quite a bit of uh, Dunross basketball. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. In just a second, I'll show you some clips of. Uh, some of the, the retail shelves that we saw, uh, at least in one store. Uh, and maybe I'll show a picture also of the lineup that we had today. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. Have fun collecting. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next break. This Meyer doesn't put any of the stickers out, so you don't know, like, where... Like these are maybe some old ones, or they may be new, but if you're looking for cards, always take a look to see if they put any fresh labels out for product. Um, some of these are outdated, so that's one of the ways you can tell. They don't have much for supplies either, but you can tell right here where they have the hockey, there's no uh, label for a price or for the product. And up here is where the football cards were. They had no, nothing there, so just take a look. That way, you can kind of kind of helps you get an idea to know what was on the shelf and what was taken off, if there is a sticker there, which in this case there is not. So just a little tip when you're out looking for cards, uh, if you can find any. So here's what's in our cart. We were pretty fortunate to find this, so that's pretty cool.